If you're like me, you're probably working from home right now, which means relying on your home Wi-Fi network, VPNs, and other networking tools to do your job effectively. But are they ready for the massive spike in traffic they're gonna see in the next few weeks? Stick around. Hey everyone, welcome back to Today in Tech. I'm Juliette Beauchamp, and something might look a little bit different. Yep, you guessed it, I'm working from home for the next few weeks as our office mandates a work from home policy. Many of you are very likely in the same boat, working from home amid coronavirus concerns, so hope you like the setup. Let me know if you want me to change anything. Anyway, let's launch into what our topic today is about, which is about relying on home Wi-Fi networks and VPNs to do your job effectively. And if you're like me, you're probably working off of your home Wi-Fi which you may have noticed is not exactly as fast as the Wi-Fi you're used to at the office. That's because when you're working with your home Wi-Fi, you might be dealing with whatever your ISP offers, whereas your school, your office is going to have those enterprise grade solutions. So what are we supposed to do while we're working off of our home Wi-Fi? We're probably be going to overloading our system and our networks with a ton of traffic that it may not be used to. We're going to be doing video conferencing. Maybe you need to utilize telehealth services to connect with your doctor, and maybe your kids are home from school and streaming educational videos. That's a lot of really heavy duty traffic that our home Wi-Fi networks are going to have to get used to. And while more remote areas could experience a lot of strain on their networks and perhaps even experience bottlenecking, slower speeds, wireless networks are assuring us that they're mostly prepared to handle the task. AT&T and Verizon are some of the providers that are saying they're ready for this increased traffic, there's the possibility that they could increase capacity if necessary, and that could become very necessary as more of us are mandated to work from home. Here in the US, some areas and departments of our government are actually working to make sure that broadband providers are really ready for this massive influx of work from home traffic. They're asking broadband providers, the FCC is asking broadband providers to relax data cap policies when appropriate, and also to prioritize the need of hospitals, which I'm sure as you all can imagine are going to be experiencing a huge influx in traffic, both physical traffic and network traffic in the coming weeks and months. Here in the US, there's also a big group of senators that are pressuring ISPs or internet service providers to accommodate this huge spike in telework and telehealth. And they're also asking them to provide free or at cost broadband to students who may lack it to ease that transition to online learning. Of course, this situation does continue to evolve and networks as well as VPNs are probably going to have to adjust to a massive spike in traffic in the coming weeks and months. The COO of Atlas VPN has even said that VPN usage could increase by 150% by the end of the month. We'll be keeping an eye on things as things change and evolve. This is of course a very rapidly evolving situation. We're gonna be covering a lot about how to meet the needs of your remote workforce. And if you're someone who is now having to work from home for perhaps the first time or do a significant portion of their work from home, maybe you're not used to that, we're going to be having a ton of videos about tips and tricks, how to best utilize collaboration tools, and anything else that you guys think of, be sure to leave them in the comments. We are going to have a video coming up this week about collaboration tools, how to use them to best facilitate your remote workforce. So be sure to look out for that coming this week. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Today in Tech. I hope you liked it. If you guys have any suggestions for future topics that you want us to cover about working from home, please leave us in the comments. I wanna hear how you're adjusting to this work from home policy and period. And if you guys have any ideas about how I can further decorate my set behind me, please leave a comment below. Once again, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.